This is a continuation of the What to Expect in Remake Part 2 series. Here's why I think Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 will not be an open world. From Midgar to Calm was about a 15 hour walk according to Barrett at the end of intermission. From the time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed. Thank you for the clarification, Aerith. Considering a good night's sleep is 8 hours, leaving 16 hours to travel, but as Cloud said, they're gonna need to take a little break every now and then, so we'll give the party at least 1 hour total break time. When punching in the walking times into Google Maps, a straight shot walking all day, let's just say about 15 hours, that covers about 46 miles. If we apply that to the map of Gaia from Midgar to Calm, we can also see that from Calm to Chocobo Farm is four and a half times that, making it a roughly 67 and a half hour walk, and for further reference, that's about 200 miles. Whoa. Okay, so with these numbers that I'm totally estimating and not to be taken as fact, we can determine that the total surface area of the planet Gaia. But first, if you like this kind of content, please thumbs up and subscribe. It helps FFTV grow and encourages us to keep going. Thank you. Okay, so using the Google Maps guesstimate of about 15 hour walk covering 46 miles, I've taken the distance from Midgar to Calm to be 46 miles, and then duplicated the 46 miles block 26 times to span the width of the map. This means that the circumference of the planet is 1,196 miles, meaning Vanessa Carlton would need to walk about 196 more miles just to see you tonight. With this information, we are going to find the surface area of a sphere, in this case, the planet. To do this, we need to find the radius first. Circumference over 2 times pi, equaling about 190 miles. So, the formula for finding the surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi times radius squared. This shows us that the surface area of Gaia is approximately 455,316 square miles. Math is a really cool thing. For a real world comparison, that's about the size of South Africa, which is 468,910 square miles. So in the grand scheme of things, the planet is very, very small, way smaller than even Pluto, which is 6.43 million square miles. But in video games, the idea of an open world spanning 455,000 square miles is just unheard of. Currently, the largest open world in a video game is 2009's free roam driving game, Fuel by Asobo Studios at 5,600 square miles, critiqued negatively for its open world being way too large. Now, I'm not even considering procedurally generated worlds like No Man's Sky, and not even looking at Elder Scrolls Daggerfall either, even though if we must, Daggerfall still falls short by almost 400,000 square miles. And for another, more familiar reference, Final Fantasy XV's open world is approximately 750 square miles, so Remake would be almost 600 times that. The open world of Final Fantasy XV is about the size of the Chocobo farm. This means that if Final Fantasy VII Remake made a completely separate open world for each continent and didn't account for the oceans to be explorable, it still would take roughly two hours to get from Calm to Chocobo Farm, and that's by a motor vehicle. I believe Final Fantasy VII Remake will consist of large open areas, adopting this from Final Fantasy XIV. And if you look at the world map, there are great opportunities to do this. Now with all of this information to process, I think we should start preparing our expectations accordingly. In a future video of the what to expect in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. We will talk about how large open areas could impact the overall feel of Final Fantasy VII. After all, 
That sense of exploration and discovery was a big part of the original. Thank you for watching. Please be excited for what to expect in Remake Part 2, Midgar Zalem, and the Chocobo Farm videos coming soon.